Welcome to Around the Weird. Here's your host, the museum curator of the strange and unusual, Mr. Nothing. Thank you, Mysterious Voice, and welcome back to Around the Weird, a booktube channel where I talk about all the unusual and out-of-the-ordinary literature that I have found in my travels. Today, it is Poetry Thursday, yet another one of those, so I wanted to talk about some more queer poetry uh, that I have found in my travels, maybe a bit unusual, maybe a bit normal, I'll let you decide. Uh, but I did want to explore some queer poetry, uh, both inside and outside of uh, Pride Month. Uh, and uh, today I found a poet that, uh, that hits the spot there. Uh, it, it is a poem about language. I am referring to words by Polly Murray. For those who don't know, Polly Murray uh, was a civil rights activist uh, as well as a writer uh, who lived in the 1900s. Uh, she was known for her civil rights work advocating on the behalf of black women everywhere because she was a black woman herself and also doing feminism advocating for women everywhere. Uh, she coined the term Jane Crow, um, uh, much like Jim Crow, except noting how uh, uh, oppressed, uh, that, uh, noting how black women were opp oppressed in very very specific ways in society. Uh, she published uh, an autobiography, a, a, one collection of poetry, um, as well as uh, two law-related books, which I thought was interesting. Uh, quite a, a diverse uh, array of, of work um, in her bibliography there. Uh, and uh, it should be noted that her, her poetry, uh, it, it, it's very short and succinct um, and often focusing on oppression or uh, racism in American society, but she does talk about some other beautiful things too. Uh, and it, sh it should also be noted that uh, a lot of people have speculated after she died that she might have been transgender uh, because of the way she dressed or... Um, lesbian or or possibly bisexual it's 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 unclear we only have to go her her, her life off of because she didn't really say any of this while she was alive um and it's it's really weird to speculate this stuff after someone's dead because there's nothing to really back it up but it is it is important to you know make sure that people are celebrated for uh for their queerness even after their death so that's that's what I'm saying there. Uh, anyways, without further ado, let's talk about the poem at hand, Words. I will do a summary, a little, or I'll read it. I'll do a little bit of an analysis and we'll move on from there. Words. We are spendthrifts with words. We squander them, toss them like pennies in the air. Arrogant words, angry words, cruel words, comradely words, shy words tiptoeing from mouth to ear. But the slowly wrought words of love and the thunderous words of heartbreak, those we hoard. And so that was Words by Polly Murray. Uh, it, it, it's a really interesting and really fun poem to say, uh, but uh, it also struck me as, as very beautiful in its underlying message. Uh, from the outside, in terms of analysis, what, what can we gather from this poem? She's talking about how we, uh, we, we just use words all willy-nilly sometimes, but there are certain words that we tend to hold on to. Now, what does she mean when we say, those we hoard? in this poem. Uh, I really think that there are two interpretations of this. There's probably multiple interpretations, but I see two interpretations with this poem. She's saying like we, we squander words, we are spendthrifts with words, like arrogant words and cruel words. She's just throwing out words. And here I am also throwing out words, you know, like taco or cheesecake or pizza. I'm talking about a lot of food words there or like socially liberal and fiscally conservative, you know, words that are inherently meaningless. She, she does say that there are words that are, you know, more valuable than others, I think. Uh, the slowly wrought words of love and the thunderous words of heartbreak. And I really like how, how she writes that. Thunderous words of heartbreak, really getting at sorrow and, and the, the, the powerful feeling of, of heartbreak. 
Uh, and so I think there's there's two ways you can interpret that. You can say that we're we're casually just using any words, uh, but when we uh, like when it when it comes time to talk about love or heartbreak, those we have words for. Those we we have like large and valuable words to to say to one another. And I, I do think that's true when we talk about love and heartbreak, especially as um, you know, especially as authors and um, writers and whatnot, we, we use like monumental kind of words like sorrow and, and, and stuff about feelings and things like of that nature. And it's, we, we, we save those best words for that, uh, for that occasion when we need to use words that have the, that get at exactly the sadness or the, the great feelings that we're feeling there that you might find in love. But at the same time, I think there's another interpretation to this poem. I think what she could also be say, what, uh, what Polly Murray could also be saying is that when she says we hoard those words, like we're willing to, you know, use whatever words that we want during the course of our lives. But when we encounter love and heartbreak, we keep those to ourselves and we don't share them so much. Like maybe we're, we're resistant to talk about feelings of heartbreak and love because they're so, those are so personal. Like if you share words about love, like other people will learn about them or something like that. And so they won't be as personal anymore. And those are extremely lovely feelings that you want to hold on to. And heartbreak, why would you share that with anyone else? Like no one could possibly understand your immense amount of heartbreak. At least that's how it might feel. And so we hoard on to those words. And we don't share them with anyone, even though it could provide us with company or someone to understand the, the sadness that we might be feeling. I think either interpretation that we either hoard them in a, in a way where we, we don't share them with others or we, we hold on to those words until we need to use them as they pertain to love or, or heartbreak, I think you could you could get both interpretations out of that and many others as well. I, I think uh, Polly Murray leaves a lot to be uh, parsed from this poem and it I think it's really beautiful uh the ideas that she's expressing here so those are my thoughts on words by Polly Murray I hope you enjoyed my words here ha 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 hold for applause uh if you read this poem before you simply want to comment on something I said do so below let's have a discussion about this poem otherwise don't forget to like share and subscribe so that more people can find out about this poem this author uh because Polly Murray does have some many other ones wonderful poems out there, uh, as well as Poetry Thursday, so that more people can get, be talking about poetry on BookTube. And until then, I wish you the best of luck in your weird and wordy travels. Farewell.